Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I thought I would answer a question that I got in the comments. Uh, someone had asked me, they're like, Jason, how do you know when it's time to rotate movements to avoid overuse injuries? Uh, I started getting some elbow tendonitis while doing body weight dips. That's what he said. But it didn't start to about a minute after I finished doing them, so how do I know what the culprit is? Well, sometimes, guys, you have to use a little bit of common sense. The likelihood that body weight dips are causing elbow tendonitis is relatively low. So what I would say to that person is um, you should probably look at that and figure out what's causing it. It's probably some sort of smaller exercise you're doing that's causing the tendonitis. And a body weight dip is, is, again, very unlikely to cause that. I would expect dips to cause more, more of a shoulder issue. Right, in which case it could be your range of motion could, that could be an issue. Uh, weighted dips, again, same thing, more likely to be a shoulder issue than an elbow tendonitis. It's probably one of your smaller exercises. Now, by that same token, if you're getting elbow tendonitis, you need to do some corrective stuff for your elbow tendonitis, not just rotate your lifts, because that's something that can get extremely bad very quickly if you don't resolve it. So, for example, what you guys see here, um, I'm going to be doing a wide variety of presses and pressing type movements through this video from different weeks and blocks of training. All of this is my higher rep volume stuff, but this is the stuff where a lot of times we need to worry about overuse. So what should we do? Well, you start watching for aches and pains and you need to look at what movements could be causing these things. And, and here's something I might suggest. Let's say you're doing in your training some sort of flat or decline as chest press. Okay, You're doing some sort of incline and overhead press and some sort of dip. I'm putting this out here as an example. Well, you need to look at what your individual culprits are, but you also need to have possibly a system set into place where you can rotate all of them. So if you're doing these movements and you really, really feel a lot of shoulder pain, say on your bench press, okay, on your bench press, even if you're using that football bar like you guys saw me using up above, let's say you're doing that, that tends to be shoulder friendly, but you're starting to get a pain right there in the front delt, deep inside there, switch to a floor press. You switch to a floor press. What happens if you're getting it during the floor press? Well, you should probably swap bars. You know, and that's the thing that it comes down to also. A lot of guys are going to say, well, I'm an advanced lifter. That's the people who are going to have these issues the most. And I don't have access to different bars. Well, are you, are you how serious are you about your lifting? Okay. Might be time for you to build a home gym and have access to those bars. It might be time for you to find a gym that has the appropriate equipment. So you can do these things all right again this is a, the issue we run into if you're an advanced lifter trying to progress lifting is probably a relatively high priority in your life all right if it's not then don't worry about progressing anymore quit pushing so hard if lifting's not a priority for you and you've reached advanced numbers you know you're benching 300 Deadlift 500, pretty big. Well, if it's not an ultra high priority for you to be able to ensure that you have access to all this equipment, then why are you still trying to progress? Quit pushing yourself until you beat yourself up. Back off and just be happy with maintaining. It's obviously not an ultra high priority. Just throwing that caveat in. But, might be time for you to switch bars. Okay. And the bar doesn't even have to be always a bar switch. Let's say you only have a straight bar and a football bar. We'll use different grip width on the, the bar. Okay. You can do that also. You can go from a wider grip to a closed grip. Closed grip to a wide grip. You need to change something, though, if you're feeling it there. Getting shoulder pain on an incline. It might be time for you to switch your incline to overhead pressing. All right, might be time to change. 
swap them around. All right, what about what about the elbow tendonitis? Well, if you're getting elbow tendonitis on your pressing movements, it's time to rotate whatever small exercises you're doing. Whatever sort of extension you are doing, it is time to rotate it, or you need to seriously assess what you're doing for extensions. Maybe it's the way that you're performing them. You need to find a way that's easier on your, your connective tissue to perform what you're performing. It's an execution issue. But you're going to have to change something. You do, you do not continue to train movements through pain. That's usually your first giveaway. What's another option? What if you can't identify it? Like, let's say the person says, it seems to hurt on most of these movements. I can't identify the exact culprit. Well, number one, you probably need to be, if it's your shoulder, for example, you need to be doing more shoulder work to address it because you have an issue that's occurring. Maybe you need to just switch everything, right? If you can't identify the culprit, then you need to swap everything. Let's say you're doing some sort of normal chest press, some sort of overheadish incline movement and it dips. You need to switch all of them to something else. If you cannot identify what's causing the overuse issue and the inflammation, you need to change everything. Take your bench press to a floor press, change the grip width, do whatever you need to do, change barbells. If you're doing an incline movement, again, same thing occurs, change it. Do an overhead, change it. You might need to swap from an overhead to an incline. Your dips. You're using plates, you need to switch the bands. Okay. You also probably need to come further in on your V-bars. You probably need a narrower grip. Like let's say you're you're hurting at the shoulder or where the pec inserts. You probably need to come further in for a bit. All right? You're gonna need a narrower grip, elbows back more. More tuck at the bottom, less flare. Change the form of resistance. You might even need to switch to just body weight, right? If it's causing you an issue, uh, go over to just body weight for higher reps. You're really going to lose muscle. Let's say you're so strong you can do three, four sets of 20 on it. Okay, you're probably doing another lift first. Go ahead and do another heavier barbell lift first. Swap where the dips are in your rotation to where you're just fine with body weight. You need to swap everything. But if you, because if you can't identify what is causing the exact problem, you need to swap every single movement that uses that joint. Then we've eliminated whatever the overuse situation is. But you need to think in terms of, well, if I am getting a pain there, even my dips, you might need to go to just body weight or change the, the form of resistance or move, change the grip. Okay. If you're not doing a small tricep movement, you're getting elbow tendonitis. Again, you might need to be less less tricep dominant with what you're doing. Your dips might need to come out a little bit wider. You might need to take your, your close grip benching and bring it out a hair wider. Maybe you're using the football bar and it really does put a lot of tension on the elbow at the lockout. Maybe you need to switch back to a straight bar. But there's a point where when you cannot identify the culprit, you swap everything. Here's another option. You could just do everything in three week waves. In other words, you could have all three of these, these movements programmed in, right? You have all three variations programmed in. And then every three weeks you swap them. For a lot of advanced sectors, that may be an option. If you're prone to overuse issues, it's not going to hurt you to change them after three weeks. Do a three week block of each and then swap to your variations. On everything all at once progress hard on those that's also an option in fact you could already set up an undulating volume scheme okay you could actually take them to where you do three sets on all of them in week one four sets on week two five sets on week three switch exercises and repeat the volume progression that's an option you're not very likely to get overuse issues in that case but a lot of this, guys, you need to use some common sense. And I'm going to say again, the people who are, who are going to have overuse problems, you're usually no longer wet behind the ears. You're not green rookie lifters at this point. You need to use some common sense with this stuff. Exactly as I've described. 
okay your needs are not the same as a novice lifter who we tell to just get good at the basics over and over all right guys well that's really all i have to say on that today i hope it's been informative and i will talk to you guys next time